Noor Dahri from the United Kingdom. <laughs> Noor is a devout adherent to Islamic doctrine, yet he calls himself a Muslim Zionist. On his blog, he writes, and I quote, it is mandatory upon Muslims to support Israel and her right to exist in the Holy Land because the Holy Book of Islam, the Quran, supports Israel. Noor recently went to Israel, gathering research for his book on Israeli security threats, traveling along Israel's often tense borders with Gaza, Syria, and Lebanon. During his trip, including visits to the Temple Mount and Al-Aqsa Mosque compound and the Western Mall, his story made waves on social media. He is now writing a book about October 7th, Noor Dari. Thank you very much, Rai Raza. Thanks for Seema, Secure, Canada, and all the team. And thank you very much for your listening. Really appreciate that. I have no words to describe what happened on uh, 7th of October in Israel. It's beyond my words, it's beyond my expression. I have no words to use that. Before I say something, let me tell you something about, a little bit about my past, which really now is, 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 is need to tell. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, indoctrinated in Pakistan. I was recruited by the terrorist organization. I was trained in Afghanistan from bullet to the, bullet to the grenade to the rocket launchers. And the aim was to kill as many non-Muslims, Hindu Zionists. That time was the 90s. That was a phenomenon of the Hindu Zionists. And, and what happened on um, 12th of October, it reminded me all what happened in 9-11, 7-7, uh, 2008 in Mumbai, but this was, these all incident happened in the last two to three decades, last two decades. There was complete, it was just a tip of the iceberg. What happened in, in Israel on 12th of October, it was a beyond imagination. People call it massacre, murder of humanity. It was actually a murder of faith. The day so many people's God died, faith died, people lost faith in God. Humanity, <clears throat> for the last 10 years, since I become a Zionist, Muslim Zionist, I was advocating peace coexistence between Muslims and the Jewish community. I was visiting Israel and different, different places to deliver my lectures, to bring uh, two people together, two faiths together. And I was always trying to convince people that this Israel and Palestinian war is actually um, not a religious past, but actually is a political uh, war. Is a ground on the best on the politics, land dispute, something like that. Don't bring religion in it. Don't bring religion. But I changed my narrative now on the 12th of October. 7th of October, sorry. This was Hamas brought Islam. Hamas brought religion into the war. Hamas raised a religious war. Try to understand this. It's a religious war. Hamas, maybe for you people, Hamas is, is an organization, terrorist organization, terrorist group, entity. For me, Hamas is ideology. Hamas is not only in Gaza. Hamas is among us, living us, among us, walking between us in the Western world, in the Eastern world. And you have witnessed, you have seen Hamas in the streets of Toronto. You have seen 
Hamas in the streets of London, Paris, New York. Millions of people sympathize, their sympathizers, supporters. They hijack politics, the disabled country, their system, only to support Hamas. And Hamas, they did everything in the name of Allah. You know who is on the trial? Not Hamas. Hamas put my identity. Islam is in the trial. Hamas used the name of Muhammad. They put Prophet in a trial. Hamas used the verses of Quran and Hadith. Quran is in trial. My identity is on trial. Millions of millions of Muslims are outside. They are not even against Jewish people. They are, they are against the civilized, every single civilized people. You people or civilized people are gathered here against, against the ideology. This is ideological warfare. Ladies and gentlemen, to try to understand. This is the ideological warfare. This is the ideological warfare that started years and years, decades and decades. And it will go for decades and decades. Maybe we are alive or not. Remember that. Because we... Civilized people, you civilized people, you live for your life. You live to make your life successful. But they live for death. We are busy in our, we are busy in our life. Uh, sorry if I pass my five seven. We pass our life. We forget what happens, mistakes we are doing in our life. We pass our life to see our future. Bright future, education, career, life. This is how the life is. And we sleep in our life and never flow. They don't sleep. They are more sharper than what you even think about it. I haven't gone through with this. I lived in Pakistan with them. I lived in Afghanistan with them. Their people never sleep. Their, their mind is always active. They always work how to destroy your happiness. How to destroy your, how to seize your freedom. You smile, they cry. And if you hit them, they're more happy because this is what they, they want martyr, isn't it? They're born to die. And you have, you're, you're seeing, you're seeing. Before I was always, we, we, we always were distinguished, always. For the last 10 years, I was separating political Islam, Islam. It's different. Islamism, Islam, different. What they are doing now on the streets? The children born bred in Toronto. They born bred in London, New York, Paris, Berlin. They can't speak proper English in their parents' language. They can't speak Urdu, my language. They've never been in Gaza, never been in Palestine. They never met even in Palestine. They never met even the Jewish or Israeli person. But 7th of October, they celebrated 7th October. Three days continually they were celebrating. Then after that, it cease fire. Celebrating 7th, uh, 8th, 9th, and 10th. These three days are very important in our Islam. Three days. You know the Eid of Qurban. Sacrifice of animal. Then we celebrate three days sacrifice, isn't it? But my Muslim celeb celebrated three days for sacrifice of the Jewish blood in the street. What do you call it? Is a murder of humanity? Not. Murder is a very simple word. What have it done? They were murdering innocent people, children, women. In the name of Islam, in the name of Allah, they never raise the slogan, freedom of Palestinian. From river to the sea, Palestine will be free. No. Free Al-Aqsa? No. Every single Hamas terrorist, he was murdering innocent people and they were saying, Allah Akbar. Allah is great. They were saying, Allahum Ashad. 
when they're raping the woman. Allah, you are witness that I'm raping the woman. Who? Jew? They're separate Jews from humans. Do you know that? They were saying, Husband Allah wa na'mil wakil. Allah is enough for me to murder innocent children, to burn little babies in oven in front of in front of their mother. That day, that day God cried. I believe because when the mass murder, Holocaust happened. The only one energy, one power cry, that's a God. This is why it said in the Quran, in the, in, in, in the Torah, you, you murder one life, you murder humanity. You save one life, you save humanity. This is God, it says. But that day, till now, God is not happy. We are not happy. I love music. I love music. Every single day I leave to my work, I listen to music. When I come back to home, I listen to music. I love music. People say, oh, you are Muslim, but you do music. I love music. I can't live without music. I, I didn't listen to music since 7th October. Every single child, every single woman and girl is a hostage in Gaza. I would not celebrate any happiness. No. Wake up. Wake up. This war has just started. They will not end. They will not end on only in Israel. They are coming after you. This is a war of civilization against civilized people. This is a war between dark forces and civilized people. Don't sleep. Wake up. This is an ideological warfare. This is a war warfare of mindset. And they have taken over capitals. London, Toronto, New York, they have taken over institutions, parliaments, cities. Wake up. Thank you very much.